Hey Jay guys, this is the inside of the PLL coil that had working really nicely. And uh, I just want to show you this because I've got one behind me that I'm messing around with. And it's got a similar insides, just like the layout is different. Um, so there's a 12 volt, 18 watt uh, constant, constant voltage. It's a 12 volt supply basically. Uh, but it's a mains one, so I don't have to mess around with Woolworths. Um, and what you can see below it is the really simple circuitry for the uh, primary current feedback and that's the feedback transformer and there is the primary cap and you can see that but in a bit of a scrappier design <clears throat> so I was working on <laughs> before I blew the bridge so I've blown both bridges on there now uh, the IGBT one I blew a while back, I blew this little this morning um, and I blew the one behind me when I was demoing that to a friend the other day. Um, uh, there's loads of things going on there, there's a full primary slayer, um, I converted a, what was that, that's a full bridge. Um, oh, uh, so this is the uh, antenna um, system that works on the old uh, SSTC5s. So that's kind of been upgraded now, and I'm now using primary current feedback. So this no longer has an antenna, it has this current transformer that senses, uh, it's basically sensing the primary, um, and that's where it gets its feedback to, to sort of keep the oscillations going. Um, so that's where you see changes here where I start talking about these current transformers and feedback it's because we're not using antennas anymore and this is actually a more effective system um, so there's the constant voltage uh, supply 12 volts um, there's the mains coming in at the back there on the white wires and then the red what looks like a mess is actually really <laughs> was originally really tidy it's just the 12 volts being switched so um, I've got a main uh, uh, sorry a uh, a switch around the side so I can switch it on and off and so one side of the um, uh, primary feedback circuit goes to the 12 volt uh, negative and the other side then goes in where you would normally have an antenna and in fact there's no other modifications to the 4046 circuit other than to add on that bit I've added on in there. Um, so this is where you can actually see I've still got the an antenna drawn on here and there's a small cap around the back. I think it's a see that little blue one um, which is not no longer in the circuitry. So originally the antenna came in and went through the cap and then that's out because the caps on the, uh, the circuit inside here. Um, so this is the 4046 and this is just the really basic version, sorry that's a bit better isn't it, um, <clears throat> key things, you've got um, I think this is 10 and 16k, I think on a lot of the circuits you see 12 and 16, use 12 and 16, I was just lazy and didn't add that up uh, to 12k, but that is, uh, there's, there's, those two are 10s and that darker blue one is a 6 point something. So it rounds, it's about 10 and 16k. Um, and then you've got on, I think it's 11 and 12, what we've got, 8, 9, 10. I think it's 11 and 12, there's a, a small uh, capacitor on the 4046. This is relevant to your coil size. Now I'm using 330 picofarads, and that's not a bad value uh, if you're using, I don't know, coils around a foot. Um, uh, what else have we got going on here? This is so this is using um, an inverted and non inverted drivers, um, and these are crikey's UCC 37321 slash 2 or 2 P's. Uh, so this gives us a, an inverted and non inverted drive for the MOSFETs. So that is what is driving the gate drive transformer. We'll have a look at that. So these two, you can't really see them, sorry, I'm pointing. So these two wires here go 
go to our little fella called the gate drive transformer. So you, what, we, what we get out of that is a 12 volt pulse, a positive and negative, that goes into this core and then basically we're getting a dri the drive. Oh, let's just see if we can, no, it's not transmitting. The drive for the FETs around the back, so you can see those. So it's a primary, I can't see my fingers, a primary coming in and then two secondaries into the bridge. I know I'm rattling on about this and the bridge design basically is, whoops, is there's output here for the primary here and here. So I've got the primary cap. It depends which way you've got the gate drive transformer, which will depend on which way you've got your primary. So there's that familiar cap you saw in the other one, and that runs, so there's the primary coming out, and then into the sensing circuit. So the primary current feedback. And then that comes around and goes into the pancake that I've got set up. That is the, uh, that's the coil I wound. Focus. In the last video, and that came out really good, and that's just got one coat of poly. I've also got a staccato. This is really key for how this works. So this is, <laughs> actually I'm not gonna try and go into this too much. Uh, this is how you get the mains ramp, um, but that is halfway rectifying the mains. So there's a mains in wire coming up the variac that comes into the back of this. There's the power for it. So we've got basically mains in AC. It's rectified in here, and it's coming out here halfway into the back of the bridge or into the bridge. Um, and then what we've got here, duty and BPS. And the, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this. I don't think the duty's working properly. I've got a working one, so I kind of got a hang of how it works. And uh, this one's just not working the same. Nick's been trying to help me. I can't, we can't fathom it out. Um, it's something to do with <laughs> the way I've probably wired it up. But anyway, so if I power the staccato, it's now got some LEDs. Let's just check nothing dangerous is on. The Variac's off and turned up. It's on 160. So the Variac's on 160. You can see I've added some LEDs to the staccato and that's pulsing away. Now I'm not gonna play with that. Uh, perhaps I'll show you why in a little while. So it only leaves us to switch on. I'll probably not rattle on too much longer. Actually, hoping to stay on. Okay. Uh, Variac is on 160. You can just about see in there. This is just not as impressive as <coughs> the other. Oh, this is it's got a constant fan that runs constantly, and then I'm switching the supply for the circuitry. And I'm going to pick you up. And uh, all things going well. Ah, oh, okay. So you can hear that crackling. It's gone out of tune even just since I had it switched off. And this is what I'm finding is <laughs> not quite right. Like different arc profile depending on how well you have it tuned. I'm looking for that soft, nice soft third. The staccato is playing havoc with this, he says, and that's going to be perfect. I find it's just detuning it. There you go, it's cracking. Maybe it's the ramp, I'm not sure. That 
I shouldn't be detuning it, it should just be changing the I'm doing a really bad job here, aren't I? Anyway, there it is, working on Pancake, which is pretty cool. That's how I blew the bridge last time, the other day when I was showing someone putting arcs, but I think I could turn it out, the bridge runs nice and cool. But I haven't got any more MOSFETs, so until my deliveries come in, I'm afraid I'm just gonna have to play gently. Alright guys, I'm waffled on for 10 minutes. Take care. I hope you enjoyed that. Some waffle about PLL. Cheers guys, take care.